Would share with you a review of a very very renowned product here in France and it's the La Durée Macaroons or as the French say Macaron. So Macaron cookies if you're not familiar with it they're two almond based very fluffy meringue like cookies and in between them it's either like a jam or a ganache or a buttercream or whatever they're very very good so La Durée is a very old uh, company in France they've been operating since 1862 they're really renowned and they started off in Paris and now they have uh, stores throughout France and the other parts of the world Véritable histoire du macaron La Durée L'histoire du macaron La Durée commence avec Pierre Desfontaines, petit cousin de Louis-Ernest La Durée, qui, au milieu du 20e siècle, a eu la bonne idée d'accoler deux à deux les coques de macaron et de les garnir d'une savoureuse ganache. Ce petit gâteau rond et moelleux, croquant à l'extérieur et fondant à l'intérieur, est fabriqué tous les matins dans le laboratoire La Durée. Les pâtissiers de la maison dosent avec une rigoureuse précision les amandes, les œufs, le sucre et la pincée de savoir-faire unique au monde et nécessaire à leur délicate fabrication. Chaque saison, la durée lui rend hommage en créant un nouveau parfum. La nouvelle création se sait toujours en fonction des autres. Nous travaillons notre palette de couleurs autant que celle des saveurs. La couleur constitue un effet essentiel à la séduction. I got these specifically in Cannes and the girl there told me that they make these macarons in Monaco and they send them to the Cannes store every day. First off, I'd like to point out that the store is really, really cute. It's very attractive when you see it up front. It looks exactly like a dollhouse. Everything is pastel. Everything is really cute inside. They sell other items too like candles and chocolate and keychains and all these uh, cute vanity decorations for girls. It, it, it's really cute. Also, their packaging is just adorable. Can we just take a look at this? They really put a lot of attention in the detail here. There's like this laurel wreath all around them, their logo here. And the mint green bag is just adorable. And also for storage tip, they say that for optimal taste, your La Durée Macaron are kept in a cool place and best consumed within four days of packaging day. When you buy individual macarons, they're just gonna give it to you like this, but they have packages like really, really cute boxes for six, eight, 12, 36, 24, and really large quantities of macarons, like really beautiful boxes. So I went ahead and got the 12, and I chose this box. How cute, how cute, right? I'm gonna keep this and put my jewelry in it. It's so cute! I think these, however, are really, really pricey. Let's see if $4 per macaron is worth it. Pistachio. This pistachio one is so good. They're really, really soft, but with a slight crunch. And you can still feel the texture of the almond powder, which is delicious, and they're very fragrant. This pistachio one is super, super fragrant. It tastes like straight pistachios. It's, it's like a buttercream inside. Chocolate. Very good. It tastes like bitter chocolate, not sweet, this one, as opposed to the buttercream one. This is a ganache. Excellent. Next is the Marie Antoinette tea. How cute is this color? This is my favorite just because of the color. I love Tiffany blue. It tastes like lemonade. Slight tea taste, but it tastes like lemonade. Really refreshing, very summery, but it's so delicious. 
It's, this is really a particular flavor. I like the name too, Marie Antoinette. It sounds so cute and elegant. This is a strawberry candy guimauve, and guimauve means marshmallow. So I think it's like a candy flavored, and then inside is gonna be marshmallow. The top is like, it, it has like sugar literally on it. Let's taste it. This tastes like, you know those little strawberry candies that are marshmallow? It tastes like that. You know what, you know what I mean? Baby. <laughs> those little strawberry guimau bonbon. That's what it is. Next one, lemon. They are so soft. It's just like a normal lemon macaron. Nothing particular. Raspberry. Oh, this one is very deep in flavor. Very tart. But the aftertaste tastes a bit chemical. So I don't like it that much. Salty caramel, here we go. Very rich, very chewy, very velvety caramel and creamy. I'm a big fan of caramel. It's extremely sweet. So it's not for everyone. Vanilla! I knew this wasn't vanilla. Wait, this tastes like a flower. <laughs> Hold on. Yeah, that's orange blossom. <laughs> Sorry, that was orange blossom. It's not my type at all. It tastes like a flower. Mm, this is like strawberry. Much better than raspberry. Again, it's like a thick jam. Last but not least, Mr. Vanilla. And this is real vanilla this time because I can see vanilla being specks in it. Ganache vanilla filling. You really taste the vanilla being very strong. It doesn't taste like vanilla extract. It melts in your mouth. So, there was the tasting of Glazerie Macaron. I now have a sugar head rush. They were all together very good. The texture of their cookies is excellent. Crunchy on the outside, super chewy, and they melt in your mouth. Are they worth $4 per macaron? Maybe not. Should you try them or not? You have to try them because they're world renowned. They've been around for over 100 years. They're really extravagant in their packaging and everything. You should at least try them. Go and give them a try yourself if you get a chance. And that's it for now. If, if you have any requests or comments, please leave them down below. If you like this video, please thumbs up. And I will see you soon. Bye. That was too much sugar. <sighs> <laughs> Baby, we have to go back to Cannes. The club. Bam, bon. Bam, bon, bam, bon. You wanna taste it? Uh. You want some of those ganache. You wanna taste it? You gain gold here? Such a loser. I'm not a loser. You have to taste it. Let me know.